Welcome back to Anderson's TV. Hello. Uh, I am joined today by the wonderful <laughs> Danish Pete. Hello. Um, and you may Again. have seen on our channel uh, a review of the new UA uh, sort of amp in a box pedals. The, the Woodrow, the Ruby and the Dream. Uh, and at the end of that video, we were just like, we really, really, really like them. You can go watch it by clicking up in the corner. Oh, yes, you can. Um, but... You know, there are many other products in that space. How right? many are there now and how uh, popular has it been for the last many years? Well, Iridium's probably the best selling one in the world. Yeah. The DSM Simplifier is probably our best selling one or certainly one of them. Yeah. Uh, Walrus ACS1 is very popular. Yeah, very good. Uh, and of course, there are, you Pretty know, really nice. multi, you know, Kempers and quad, quad Cortexes and all that kind of stuff that attest to doing this sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and we thought this would be an interesting shootout because you have got uh, the UA range uh, doing their thing using all their proprietary software so it's all their own speaker and cabinet emulations things like that mm -hmm. you've got the Strymon which is a sort of a combination of their own amp modeling but with loadable IRs yeah you can load IRs into or you can go old school into the uh, simplifier which is completely analog mm -hmm. Right? So Analog. which is best? Or which do you like best? In terms of pricing, um, they're all ballparky similar. So the DSM is 279 the the UA stuff is about 350 and the Strymon stuff is, you, you should get some change out of 400 but it's in that sort oh, of ballpark. Oh, is it really that expensive? Um, My voice just went up then. Now, it's weird. one of the criticisms that we made of the UA uh, range was that it's not there's not like three amps in one box. There's 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 variants of the same amp in each box. Yeah. So you get your AC style amplifier, your 50s tweed style amp, and your 60s blackface kind of amplifier across the three pedals. Whereas uh, products like Iridium and the ACS1 and, and the Simplifier, you actually have um, more than one amp style. Yeah. So the Iridium but do has... You, does that mean compr did they compromise then on some places? Well, I guess I that's what know. we're going to find out. Mm -hmm. So Iridium has round chime and punch, which is basically, imagine Fender, uh, Vox and Marshall. Tongue punch. vibe. And, uh, <laughs> and if you want. Uh, and the DSM does uh, AC Brit American and MS Brit. So same kind of vibe. So we're going to start with this on its sort of uh, round mode, this on its American mode, and this on it, it's, using it's the Dream mode. pedal, yeah. the, the mode, yeah. the mode. Etna. Uh, we've just got guitar plugged in, uh, step, two outputs uh, on each pedal, left and right output on each pedal, and we're gonna start with the EQ completely flat, and we're gonna start in the sort of the default cab position. Yes. Uh, the DSM doesn't really have like a default position, but we've gone with combo, so, 112 kind of vibe, uh, 6L6 power section. So again, we're going sort of deluxe kind of power section. Mm -hmm. And we've got a tube screamer if we need it. And we've got this handy three-way uh, thing here. So uh, green for the Iridium, red for the Simplifier, blue for the UA. Yes. Uh, and we'll tweak to taste. And I, and I should say as well, uh, there's no reverb in the Simplifier. There's this idea of room. A room, a room. Uh, a room on the Iridium, the and there's proper reverb on the UA, but I've switched it all off. So we're, the first run okay. through is just a straight 12 o'clock, very clean, boom, what do okay. you think? And please like and subscribe. Thank you. Yes. Here's a G chord. <laughs> Pretty clean. Yeah. Very different clean. Yeah, but it fills me with more joy than the first one, <laughs> because the first one, if you just hop back to the first one really quick. It's just, it just lacks something, you know what I mean? It's got too much mid-range and not enough sparkle. This, In, yeah. But we'll EQ. Okay. Uh, any yeah, there you go. And so then the it. UA. Yeah. So I guess the first thing, and without wanting to make this like a three hour demo, <laughs> um, immediately everything on 12, for me, there's sort of too much mid range in the Iridium to yeah. really give me that sense of classic Fender tone. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, but feel wise, Mr. Pete, because that's something we always talked about the difference between analog versus digital. Yeah. If you you play some choppy, funky kind of just you know, what how does it feel? Feel-wise, I don't feel any different in any of them, really. I don't think there is any latency or lag, or and I don't really know if you can feel that in that kind of stuff. I think it's more like a... You, you need to feel the softness and the smoothness of the harmonics and the tones and the... You know, all that's different stuff, you know? Just going to uh, try and EQ this Iridium, maybe to sort of put me in some slightly more familiar territory, and going to just turn the room control up, which is a sort of a kind of a reverby ambient effect. Okay. I don't personally, for me, what the room control is doing on the Iridium, and it's a little similar to one of the other UA pedals. It's emulating the sense that you're just trying to get this idea that you're in a room with an amplifier yeah. rather than reverb. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, if, if, you, if we jump on over to the, um, to the UA one, which actually has reverb in it, you'll hear it's pretty different. Just that's a spring. That's, that's yeah, reverb yeah. in an amp. I should probably say there is a deluxe version of the simplifier, which as well as a few other features does have reverb in yeah, it. But yeah. the simplifier, the concept here is that you'd either have a reverb Simply. pedal run through the effects loop or you'd use your, uh, you know, you'd use your interface. Yeah. Uh, you'd use some software rather on your recording device to put some uh, reverb at the top. Yeah. Definitely taking the mid-range out of the Iridium puts it in a more Closer. similar ball, yeah, ballpark, absolutely. right? Yeah, absolutely. What yeah, I, I think we'll do next is we'll get this idea of what does it sound like with a little bit more gain on it. Mm. Um, mm. So not necessarily introducing a distortion pedal yet, but what would the amp sound like a little bit sort of, you know, beefed up? <laughs> And you can hear the reverb is yeah. Does it sound like it's DI'd not now? It sounds like there's no cap on it almost. It's doesn't interesting, it? isn't it? The the in order to get the brightness. Uh, on the clean tone yeah. on the DSM, I've you can adjust the the mic placement. Okay. And I've gone quite both cabinets quite close to the sort of center of the cone, so I'm to sort of the, to get the brightness. Yeah. As soon as you introduce the drive to it, it feels like you need to take that mic slightly more off axis, otherwise it is getting it's it, it's, it's yeah. a bit more natural, isn't it? Yeah. Once you go, I mean that's uh, as I said, that's an interesting. Um, observation there yeah. in that you know that the 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 way the cab simulation and the power amp simulation is done on the simplifier is an analog you know you've just yes, got to find yeah. the setting that, yeah. that you like 
rather than um, a, a model of a, of a speaker cabinet. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of, you know, I think in that particular round, I went from really liking the simplifier on its clean sound on the Fender thing and saying it was pretty marginal difference between that and the, and the UA. Yeah. As soon as you start introducing gain, I think that the, the UA doesn't, uh, sorry, the simplifier doesn't... Um, sound as natural and no it's, it doesn't and sound it, like the, the like a fender amp would and i i think yeah. it's worth pointing out as well for the ua you've got all of these different cabinets for the same or speakers six different ones mm -hmm. and you've got uh what is it with the uh, with the boost switch and all sorts of other things so there's more in because it's one amp there's one amp so you get more features for Absolutely. that one amp, right? so what we've not done here i mean in fairness there's other speakers on the on the strymon yeah. rhythm in fact in fairness on the strymon of course you've got essentially you can you can find your own ones yeah uh, but yes Pete's million. right there there's no sense on the iridium that there are multiple versions of this round amplifier whereas on the ua there are three versions of um of, of the fender so it's essentially yeah. like having three amps but three fender style yeah. amps in it and there's it? also a, a boost um, yeah. circuit built into here, which of yeah. course there isn't in the other two either. Yeah. Again, if you want to see a more detailed version of each of these products here, we'll probably just put those in the links to be honest with you, because we've done in-depth demos yeah. of all yeah, of yeah, these. Yeah. Um, what else do you want to do then, Mr. I Pete? I don't know. I mean, I mean that's kind of, we could try a couple of the other different speakers on here, just see yeah, what yeah, they sound what like. So we go back to... to get that sort of DI straight segments. Yeah. There's something about the, the, the Iridium um, clean sound that, that sounds harder than a real amp actually would. If yeah. Harder, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know if hard is not, it's not a word you'd normally use to describe a sound. The dynamics. It, it's harmonics and dynamics is a maybe it's that. There's a there's a softness, it, especially in the simplifier. There's this lovely softness to it, you know. Which that got I tell as you well. what, I think I'm hearing in the UA. I think I'm hearing, and again, you as the player might be feeling this more. You know how on a on a, a tube amplifier, especially as you've just got it right on that edge of of the valve starting to break up a little yep. bit, every, even within a strumming pattern of a chord, you're hearing an amp going all these different layers of of sort of harmonic tonality. Yeah. Whereas these Big two, words. all you're really hearing is just a louder or a quieter version of the same. Yeah. Sound. It's more detailed. Yeah, you know, I which, think which so. Is, which is, you would, you know, it's one thing maybe, in one box, right? Maybe I mean, we can kind of demo that a bit better. Like now that you're listening for it, maybe you'll hear it. It's almost like when you got a when you got a piano, electric piano, mm -hmm. or keyboard or whatever, and you got all of those different layers. When you hit it harder, mm -hmm. some pianos have got more layers, mm -hmm. or like a, a drum, an electric drum kit, mm -hmm. where where some don't, don't have like three or four or five, you know, la layers of volume. Where it feels well, to me like the Universal Audio has got just let's say it's got hundred layers, and the others only got like fifty or yeah, sixty. Yeah, possibly. Okay, look, I'm gonna just put put tube stream over sense. the top quickly. Whiz through the three. Yeah. And uh, then we'll move on to one of the other pedals. A 
know which one I prefer, right? Uh, oh, yeah. That, I mean, for, for, for me, it, it, the winner, 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 chicken dinner. But again, as we've criticized many times before, you've got that 350 got, quid yeah. to do its sort of like variants of one thing. Yeah. These are, you know, well, this is similar money. This is a bit cheaper. But yeah, but we'll and that's got that's stuff. got a fixed loop, the simplifier, and this, they've both got headphones jacks. Yeah, out headphone the, outputs on these. It, it doesn't have that, these. you know. And it, there's lots of stuff there that's I, got uh, XLR cables out, you know. But feel wise and tone wise. Anyway, right yeah. next. So this next run through is. Um, probably the least useful yeah. <laughs> of the three. So uh, I've set the Iridium and the DSM to their Marshall settings, and we've found a preset on the Woodrow, which is kind of like yeah. uh, a gunned deluxe, tweed deluxe. It's called Big uh, Pretty Stack. But yeah, into a 412 now. Yeah. So With I guess thirties. possibly reminiscent of like a really early Marshall gain tone, whereas I think both of these are probably slightly more. DCM 800 maybe? Mm, don't know, Plexi maybe. Plexi, but yeah. Anyway, look, I've, I've intentionally not put crazy amounts of drive on. All the EQ again is is, is flat on, on uh, these, apart from the Woodrow where we're using a preset mode. So ignore where the buttons are set to because it doesn't mean no, uh, that's not the sound we're using. Uh, but anyway, so here is the Iridium. I should say as well, of course, the Iridium will we'll do more gain, you know, so. That's just a mild kind yeah. of gain, isn't it? Here's the DSM. That They're kind of similar, aren't that they? That will similarly do more gain. Mm -hmm. They're quite similar, those two, aren't they? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, yeah. I, I think the Strymon... I, I'd like... I don't like playing, I like the reverb each, anything, just anything that adds a little, little bit, of bit of something, yeah, something is, is deliciousness. helpful. Um, I would always, if I was using the simplifier, and I have done and, and had some great results with the simplifier, but always with reverb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's the Woodrow. <laughs> it's very different, isn't it? It's, it's a very, very different tone. It, and it's, and it's, whereas, these two overdrive sounds sound controlled and within themselves. This sounds like an amp about to blow up, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, in the room as well. Yeah. It's, it's, there's much more. The room, it so, sounds like it's right there in this in the right in in room. You know what I mean? But does it sound more authentic? Yeah, well, you know, maybe it sounds a bit more. Doesn't, it doesn't sound, like, it doesn't sound like a Marshall. It doesn't does sound it, like right? a Marshall. Actually. Yeah. But does that sound like a Marshall? Uh, I think it probably does. Does it? Does it? Keep Scoop mic range. It doesn't sound bad. It's just a very different sound because it's just not a Marshall. Amp. It's, a, yeah, it's yeah. not a Marshall. So yeah. there we go. So, so that's the, uh, the probably the, the least useful yeah. UA, one of these comparisons. Please bring out a Marshall thing. Yes. You can compare that. Uh, lastly. Okay, so the last one is the Ruby, which is the sort of AC inspired. Fancy um, Ruby actually. UA pedal. Uh, so we've now got the Iridium set to its chime mode. I've left the EQ fairly flat. We'll adjust to taste. We've got the uh, simplifier on its uh, AC Brit mode. Again, fairly flat using the, the 212 um, cabinet simulations. Uh, and then we've got the Ruby on its normal mode. Um, interestingly on the Ruby, depending on which speaker cabinet you choose, and we've gone with a, a 212, um, Sometimes the bass and the treble don't work because if you remember rightly on an old AC30, you, you might just have, have a cut. Yeah, yeah. So on this particular patch, it doesn't matter where I set the uh, um, 
bass and treble, it's only the cut control that's controlling yeah. the tone. Uh, anyway, so here is what a Strymon think an AC sound is. <laughs> Which cab do you prefer? A. That's C. Don't. B. A. A maybe? Cool. I don't know. Uh, simplify. This, it's, it's more like it goes like this a little bit. You know what I mean? Where I think it was quite a bit more bass end on the Yeah, more, more bass end, but, but there's less more, sound. More boxy. What is it? What, 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 how, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's just... not a volume thing, is that? <laughs> It's not a volume thing. It's just a it's not as present in the room. I, I think it's doing. I think the simplifier is actually doing what the Vox thing does quite well. I always think that Vox, whether it's a combination of the speakers or the or the power amp or whatever, but I think they always have. They don't have that big no. open sound that well, say a deluxe. Has. Do you want to go there? Because <laughs> because I hear as we talked about this before, you hear so many people going, oh. I plugged into an AC30 and it sounds yeah. nothing like my my uh, my Kemper profile or my yeah. Iridium. And that's because people don't know what a Vox amplifier needs, has or sounds like when it's gunned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what you need to do with it. You need to absolute 2x12 top boost amp and then just keep, like, mm, and it goes, mm, and then you, you know, it's but a that, completely for that sound, different but I mean, thing. there's lots of, I mean, I think if you go back to the, you know, some of the early Brit pop bands, you know, whether you're talking about the Shadows or even early sort of Beatles stuff where there were much cleaner kind of voxy kind of tones used, they weren't all that kind of Queen No, style. no, no, but still, it can still be loud because yeah. the, the Vox amps, I used to have uh, an old non-top boost AC30 from 62 and it's loud, man, mm. but I had to have a, an EQ, I had an old Ibanez, I can't remember what it was, you know, with the, yeah. with, the with that big like this but some to get some top end into it because yeah. it didn't have anything you couldn't get any top end anyway well look, we're, we it's digress. a very different what, thing what yeah, we've we not done is this. so let's just quickly yeah. we'll go straight okay. into the ruby okay Iridium. Iridium. Bye. ruby I got deja vu right now. I, I think you nailed it with your description where you went. If there's like a hundred layers of, if you could, if you could you, give you, a measure of yeah. like just the sense of it's size layers. and dynamism and whatever. Yeah. I think that's what you get. You get ruby. The ruby just has more. Let me have a. Yeah. A and play. I think I think that for some, for, in my ear, the simplifier sounds more di. It yep. sounds like they're, they're, it's lacking that that the cabinet in it. You know, it's like it's almost like you're plugging. It's got more of the DI sound and less of the cabinet simulation, where, uh, if that's what you want to call it. It's really weird, and I don't, again, not. I've obviously played Vox amplifiers, but I've never really like, owned a Vox amplifier. No. Or it's never been my go-to amp. But the Ruby's doing this thing where like, there's this huge sense of bass on that initial attack, but then it sort of goes away quite quickly. Whereas the Iridium just doesn't have it, it doesn't at have the that. beginning, you know, like. That's... Just, have, we more, have we got more drive on the Ruby? But... <laughs> Dial it cut back a bit, so you get a little bit less of the, yeah, so dial it back, you know. So you want more treble? Yeah, that way. So, so more treble? That way, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah so yeah, just yeah. see what that does. Do you know what I'm saying when I, when, with the DI sound and the DI feel? I think one of the issues, issues, obviously what, because the simplifier is not digital at all. No, it's analog, yeah, yeah. So the, the whole EQ circuit of the Iridium and the Ruby is changing uh, 
to, to be the chime vibe yeah, yeah. or the or the ac vibe yeah. whereas the um dsm you've got to physically adjust it each time to, yeah. to, to, to taste uh, but i mean i, I <laughs> One of the things that the simplifier doesn't have as well is an EL84 um, oh, I see. output yeah. mode. It has 606s, 34s, and KT88, so it's never going to quite uh, do. In my opinion, still, I like I, I the Ruby is my favorite, but and that's been resting on the lowings for a long time, you know. And now it's been a couple of years or whatever, and now other things come I, up on with new technology I, and more. I don't I know. I can't remember whether or not we have because we use the Iridium in all these shootouts, yeah. don't we? Because it's been and, and I for, always you know, so. feel like it starts off negative with the Iridium because my least favorite sound on the Iridium is its Fender sound. Yeah. And easy. then actually you end up going, the Marshall and the Vox sounds are pretty good actually yeah, in the yeah. Iridium. The, the, um, it's not, none of them are bad. That's not what I'm saying, you know, but... But but the, but yeah, I just think... It's not a real amp, any of them anyway, you know, at the end of the day. I mean, we, we got so many things. Again, the whole, the whole point is that, you know, the Iridium and the Simplifier have got their take on a Vox amplifier. Yeah. The Ruby has got its take on several... Yeah, but again, amps. it's the same the same technology they put into the Oxbox. You know, they they yeah. they they've spent so much time doing that yeah. stuff. You know, I mean, let's let's finish then with like a top boost. Let's go for that Brian May kind of vibey sound on the three. Five minutes later. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, we're finishing up now with a sort of a gunned voxy tone. Um, Obviously, we don't have uh, a top boost on the board here, but I have got a tube screw, which I might try and sort of pseudo top boost with it. Doesn't the um, Ruby has a sorry, the, doesn't it have a top boost? The, uh, it has the Ruby a top does. boost thing in. Yes, yeah, yeah. and we are indeed using that to sort of get our sort of tone. But let's mm -hmm. do it with no with no tube screw yeah. first. So, as we said before, green for Iridium, red for Simplifier, blue for Ruby. Take it away, uh, Mr. Peter May, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Peter May. <laughs> some Brian May by the way I'm really sorry about that if anybody is watching yeah, sorry, Professor. if anyone is still watching well, we'll go and adopt a badger just to make amends for it yeah. um, <laughs> so well there you are I, I mean I'm, I'm pleased we did this because the, the reality is yes so it's going to cost you a thousand quid if you want to go and buy the three UA pedals um, and I'm not you know from talking to UA I don't think they that's not what they're going for. I think the idea is them going, well, what's your favorite amplifier? You know, you just buy that one. Yeah. Um, obviously the Strymon and the, the simplifier, you've got your, your, your three amps yeah. in one. But if you want the most authentic, the best version of a, an AC or a, a you know, 65 yeah. Blackface Deluxe or a, or a Tweed there Deluxe. Will be a massive then coming. There'll be a massive coming. You probably. Watch, yeah. They'll, yeah, they'll have to do one, won't they? Uh, um, I mean, again, you'll see in the, the main video we did of this, cool Bluetooth functionality with here. So uh, lots yeah. of different ways of storing presets and, and easily presets. loading them in. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. I still I, think the UA wins. I, I guess it's for people out there to sit and go, is it worth it? Yeah, but I mean, as I said earlier, or in the other video I said, if you buy the Iridium or you buy the ACS-1 or whatever, whatever you buy that's got all of these different functions, uh, amps in them, how, much, how many times do you actually swap to another amp or do you just use the one amp and the one cap that you really like 
and then that'll be that, you know. And then maybe once in a while, you go, oh, maybe I need a little bit of a different tone. But I, I, I am 89 percent sure that most people. 89. Have, that's scientific. 89 percent. Right. Uh, 89.7. Yeah, point seven. Point seven two five six. <laughs> Most people would just have the iridium and they like the chime and they like the other one and that's the one that set it. Yeah, yeah look, I mean, I, I, that's what I think. I, I, I don't have any of these, so I don't use it but, like that. And so. I, I think... But I would. You know, there's a, you, you've got everybody from... If you take the, like the, the Kemper quad cortex kind of yeah. argument, or not argument, yeah. but that player, some people will buy those units and they'll have two presets. Yeah. That they just, that's what they use, the whole I had, thing. That's how they move a beer. That's like, yeah. why do you need all that for? You don't need all and that then, stuff. And then you've got someone else who'll step through 27 different amplifiers in one show, you know, because that's what they want to do. And neither, Nobody does, no, man. Nobody does. That's, that's, well, that's, that's, a, that's an urban you legend. Don't, you myth. don't think like wedding band type? Not 27 different oh, amplifiers. Right, what do you need, man? You need a clean amp, you need a bit of a crunch, and then you need a lead, maybe two overdrive, no, maybe two lead tones, you know, maybe you need a delay and maybe once in a while a chorus or a tremolo. At the end, what else really, if you've got but a wedding band and you do 30 different songs. But if you're doing Stevie Wonder in one song and then Led Zeppelin in the next song, you know, that's two pretty different guitar sounds, right? But then you need to have different guitars and, you know, Look, I don't know. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not trying to defend. No, no, no. All I'm trying to say is that it's like each to his own. Yeah, but, no, but, I, but if you I, just, if it's money, no object and yeah. you just go, which one of these was the best Fender sound? It was that one. Or by a Fender amp. Which one of these was the by best Marshall amp. sound? Yeah. Well, it wasn't that one. No, no, because it's not it's trying not to be. Uh, it probably I was one it, of these two. Yeah. And which one of these was the best Vox sound was this one. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion. Yeah. And but mine too. Controversial. Our there opinions don't matter. No. Your opinion is what matters. Yeah. So please comment below. I hope you like this shootout video. Please like and subscribe if we didn't ask you to do that already. Yeah. Um, we and need to do more of these. These kind of shootouts, they're great fun to do. Yeah. And I hope... Um, I hope what's cool about an Anderson shootout is we don't really care what wins. You know, yeah. it's as long like, as you're happy. As long as you're happy and yeah. you end up going, well, thank you very much, Andersons. My hard spent cash will be spent with you regardless. It doesn't yeah. matter. So yeah. hopefully you, you get our, you know, you can, you can appreciate that we're just trying to be honest and helpful. Mm. But there we are. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Well done. Well done to all three. Yeah. Let's be honest with you. We've never had guitar tones as good just plugged into little boxes. Into I little enjoyed speakers, it today, definitely. Me too. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Bye.